Hello friends. Today we are going to learn to update the legends that we have in our graph. Here we can see multiple work worksheets that I have imported, and in this worksheets, when we plot a particular specific graph, as such as this, using this particular line plot, or by just right clicking and click plot line here, what we get is. what we can see here is that this is the particular legend representing the plot of this particular data okay this particular b that we are seeing here is due to the column name that we have here what we have is we have b b y and that's the reason it's here b but instead of b if we need to have a specific name name of that particular sample or particular data that when we import is inserted somewhere here in this particular file we can see it's inserted in the book name or also you can find the uh, different names in the uh, on the sheet names okay here we have different sheets with sheet names or we can have a book name if we need if you are plotting multiple sheets if you are mul uh, plotting multiple data and we need to have the same name of the book here in, uh, in place of this legend then how can we do this first we'll import all the uh, data that we have here in different sheets here we can see we can have different sheets available here uh, this has nothing nothing to do with the legend but here we have the legend so what we can do is we can just change this legend to the sheet name because why are we changing this to sheet names because we have different datas and we need to represent each individual data with that particular name of the file or uh, we have to uh, name of the file or represent that particular data and by once we plot this what we got is just b so instead of this b we will have the sheet name how can we do that just right click on this go to legend and update legend in this particular pop up window what we get is we get auto legend translation mode okay we have this update mode that is update reconstruct or update we will update this and we need when once we update this what we will what we can do is we can use this auto legend translation mode here in this auto legend translation mode we have some parameters already given means either we can use the comment line given there Oh, what we can use? We can use the data range. We can use the long name and units. We can use the user parameters, long name, short name, or parameters that are already inserted into this. Here, if you see this particular data that we have, we don't have any of the parameters, long name, units, or any other thing available here. So, if even if I select this already auto. legend translation mode or different parameters here what i will get is there won't be any change i will only get what b there won't be any change so what we need to add here we need to add the sheet name for this what we have to do is we'll go here we'll go to custom once we go to custom here in the legend custom format we can have multiple formats that we can see here here we have sheet name data set name data set name long name and all different names that we can add as a legend here so here what we need to add is we need to add the sheet label or sheet display name sheet display name not the label but the sheet display name once we add here we have this something that we will delete here once we add this just click apply once we click apply what we get is we get the sheet names here that are already available in our sheets and thus we can directly label or we can directly label the data that we have here so in this way we can have similarly if you need to add the uh, what we can say book name as in this case what you can do is just click plot here we have our legend with nothing we'll click right click legend update legend and here we will choose custom 
in this custom what we will do is we will first delete this and now we will choose, choose the book name either book long name or book short name if the book consists of long name and short name we can choose either of them or if uh, as we wish I will choose book long name once I click I will get the long name available here Similarly, if we have already long names present in our book with multiple data placed uh, side wise, what we can do is we can plot them. Once we plot them, here I have automatically received this because this are the long names available in the sheet and if by default I have received this because here we can see when we go to update legend, here we can see the use comment line is available first line and use comment line comment line or first line is the data that we have or first line comment line or first line first line is the long name that we have and that long name is given here so in this way we can update the legends so why do we need to update this legends we need this uh, we need to update this legend because we can form a template out of it and once we create a template and use the template we don't need to add or change the legends again and again we can directly import the data of similar kind for that particular template and we can directly add the legends therein so thank you for watching this video and also subscribe our channel to watch more such videos thank you